Hey, welcome everyone. Wanted to demonstrate for you Search Triggers Pro. Uh, this is a, some really advanced features that uh, we've just added to Search Triggers to make this even more historic. Uh, today's a historic day because we are announcing for the first, I mean the world is hearing about the Xbox One tonight is the uh, live release of the price. And uh, on my blog post I've been focusing on uh, this very topic. So I want to demonstrate for you exactly how Search Triggers Pro functions and the different features that are available to you when you upgrade the Search Triggers Pro. So the basic search is, uh, as you can see, there's this toolbar that's being added to the footer here, right below the search box. This is the real big distinguishing bar. We've done everything possible to make it really simple. There's, there's really three decisions you have to make. Um, you want to decide whether you want to use a basic or a deep search. Now a deep search will produce many, many results um, and it takes a little bit longer um, than a basic search. The basic search is more useful in the sense that it will tell you the most popular phrases that are being used. But if you're trying to find a niche topic, deep is essential and that's really the distinguishing factor. So I'm going to demonstrate for you first a broad deep search. So as I click the search box on Xbox One, you'll see I got lots of results. And this is actually the process I recommend you go through when you're using this tool. You see it takes a few minutes. Okay, now you can see there's a lot of results. Let me scroll through here so you can see this. Okay, Dark Star One, Xbox versus PC. All these are green light results. And here we have some yellow results. These are medium competition and then red. You know, Xbox, two screens, two monitors. As you can see, it just goes up tons and tons of results. And really what Search Triggers excels at is in sorting. Okay, So you can see that the sorting is pretty solid here. We've got a really nice sorted list. So if I'm if I'm focusing on price, and let me just do a quick search here for price, and you can see the Xbox One price has a value of 9999. Essentially, that means that we don't have enough data from Google. Now, um, in other words, because it's a brand new product, it's not really out there. There's no real supporting data on it. Okay. Now watch what happens though. And that's, that's, you know, the number of queries is red because this is data that's supplied to us by Google, but we haven't necessarily verified it. If you go into exact search, I'm just going to uncheck deep for now because it'll take too long to run that way. I'm just going to run um, a basic exact search. It still takes a little longer to run than a basic broad search, but I'll show you exactly what the numbers come back. Now you see, you see, price actually has a real number, seventy-eight million nine hundred thousand. That's pretty cool. Seventy-eight million nine hundred thousand, because it's a more recent piece of data. Now watch what happens if I go here to price and I click on Xbox One price and then go deep with that term. So if you click on a term and then you bring it back up here, you just click on it like it clicks it right here. It, it replaces the need for copying and pasting. You just click your mouse and then go right back up here. Now someone told me once, well, well why don't you immediately have it do the search? Well, I'll say because you have to make the decision whether you want to show the numbers, don't show the numbers, whether you want to go to quote, whether you want to go exact, whether you want to go to deep. So I'm going to go here to broad search and deep. And what it does is it searches for all the additional terms surrounding the price. This is very useful when you're writing a blog because you may not exactly know uh, what people are searching for. Like this is dealing with the, okay, look at that, Xbox Gold price one month. Xbox Live, Live One. Okay, so what this is showing me is, is that the, the one, the keyword one in terms of broad 
can't go any further. So I'm going to go exact. I'm going to uncheck ba deep and go back to basic exact search under Xbox One price. And let's see what comes back here. The same stuff. Same stuff. So what that means is that there, there really is nothing further like we can put after price that's going to get an exact match. Now let's go into the newest feature called quote. And let me explain how these things work, okay? Quote is is just like the name implies, is it actually puts this in quotes. And you'll see the numbers. This I'm going to show you the numbers. They're much lower when you put it in quotes. Now look at that. Xbox Live Gold. Okay, one one price. Okay, so like look, there's minus one, minus one, three. Xbox Live one year price. Now if I go here and I click on that. I bring up a Google search and you'll see there's only three results and it literally is putting it in quotes now if I go in here and I put this in what's called an exact an exact is inside of these brackets you'll see I still get 63 million yeah you have to add it in it still get 63 million results so exact is better but it's not as it not as useful for for uh, blogging as as quote is. So I'm going to go back here to search triggers now and show you exactly how you can use this for your blogs and why it's so important to up make the upgrade to Search Triggers Pro. Okay, so supposing I mean where I started this was I started with Xbox One. And let's just go to Xbox One. And I'm doing Xbox One with quote. And I, and I have the numbers checked, so it tells me exactly how many are there. And you can see price is green. There's only 53,004, excuse me, 5,340 competing pages. Well, if you're blogging inside of Empower Network, we have found that quoted posts will show up in the top 10 within 15 hours. That's simply some of the cool stuff that's part of Empower Network. Why? Because it has more traffic than Meetup, my friends. And anything you blog inside of Empower Network shows up almost immediately. So unless your website is extremely a rock star website, chances are it may take you months, maybe even you know years, before you'll get a top 10 placement on a three-word phrase like this. But, you know... Like if I go right here, okay, so here it is. Xbox One price. Microsoft almost nails an Apple event. Okay, so they now they've relaunched it. It's three ninety nine pounds. So that means it's gonna be six box six hours ago they released it. It's gonna cost three ninety nine pounds. Well that's because the US has not yet announced announced its price. It's probably gonna be four ninety nine. But they're announcing it tonight. See, it hasn't, it hasn't yet posted. So when you go to my blog, I'll show you my blog real here, quick here. Empower Network. Okay, here's here's my post. Xbox One price tonight. The world will learn about the new Xbox One. I'm glad they renamed it from 720 because it implies it still again will be 720p. Earlier today, I was talking with a client about Microsoft, and even though they lost 15% of their gross revenue due to Windows 8, I've always maintained that Microsoft's future is Xbox, not Windows. And many, many people believe the same to be true, too. They've really found their sweet spot with the Xbox, and they've sold more units. So oh, let me uh, go back into uh, 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 move this over here for you. Okay, so here's my blog inside, and here I have the video where they unveiled it but they never released the price because the price has not been announced yet so Microsoft will reveal that tonight where on your Xbox 360 no you won't read about it on the web until then so bookmark this page then come back here tomorrow and I'll have it updated so now I can update it well in the UK they announced that it's going to be uh, 399 pounds which is about $500 US so chances are it's probably either going to be 399 US it 
you know, for the U.S. version, or it's going to be 4.99. We don't really know what it's going to be, and no one has posted that yet on the web. But later on tonight, you will. Now, um, I wanted to lock in this term in my blog because that's something that people are searching for. That makes sense. Well, I got the idea for this post because of search triggers. Okay, you can see there's red light E74, ring of death, red light E68. These are all niche terms. If you want to write about it, you could. There's only nine, quote, competing pages, you know, in quotes. So this shows you some of the more new features that we're just adding to search triggers. And uh, we're going to continue to improve the the tool uh, as more and more people bring things to our attention, uh, I'm really excited to uh, to be sharing this with you. And if you like this video, uh, please subscribe to our channel. I'm going to be rolling out a whole bunch more training. And uh, this Friday live, I will be doing a luncheon. It's going to be videotaped, and you'll have a chance to to watch me interact with local business leaders. And we're going to be unveiling search triggers. Uh, it runs great on a tablet. So I'm just going to be sitting there with a tablet running searches for business owners all day long. And uh, you can catch that video by uh, simply subscribing to this channel. Thanks again for listening, and um, I'll see you at Search Triggers. Bye now.